Hi everybody! Uh, you might have noticed that things look a little bit different and that is because I am coming to you from a different location in my house! It is so dramatic and exciting, isn't it? Um, we're actually downstairs and you can see one of the two bookshelves that doesn't fit in my library. Well, actually, I guess there's three. And so, yes. There are different books in the background, and you can try to figure out what they are, like The List by Chauvin Vivian is right there. And I actually have a bunch of books this week, and so I don't know if I'll have time for cat wrangling, even though I can see him, and so he's kind of tempting to nab. But first, the books. So this one I actually got last week, but I forgot to share it because I am silly, and I put it in a different place than I usually put the new books, and so I forgot. Uh, but this one is from First Second, which is the graphic novel imprint of Macmillan, and that is Fairy Tale Comics, edited by Chris Duffy, classic tales told by extraordinary cartoonists. And I am all about fairy tales, and I'm all about graphic novels, so I'm excited. You can see on the back some more illustrations, and they come in all sorts of styles and stuff, so... I am looking forward to the day when I get to that in my pile. And then I got some deliveries from, this is the wrong one, uh, whatever, doesn't matter, from Tor Team. The first one was a finished copy of Replica. This is actually the arc that I'm holding because I swapped them out so that I would get quotes from the finished copy. And then the finished copy I'm going to send to someone, so I put it in a different pile. Anyways, it's pretty much exactly the same, except it's a nicer quality paper to the front. And it doesn't say that it's an arc on the side. So, yeah. Um, awkwardly, I didn't super like Replica. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but yeah, it wasn't something that my review is going to make a ton of people read. So I feel kind of bad about that, but honesty is my policy. And then I got two finished copies. <laughs> to go with my arc of Extremities by David Lubar. And, and in case you don't believe me, there really are two. Look at them. Yeah, uh, one went to Christina at YA Book Central and one went to Christina Reader Fictions. So that's fun. And I really hope I like it since now I have two finished copies and an arc of this book. So, yeah, if I don't like it, that's going to be extra super awkward, and I really hate that. I'm not so good at dealing with awkward. You would think I would be, considering how awkward I am, but no, no, not really. Um, and then I got one from Hot and Mifflin Harcourt, and I am so excited about this. Uh, a Rogue by Gina D'Amico. I got this because my friend who went to ALA asked for it, and so she had them send it to me because they didn't have it there, or they were out, or who knows what. Uh, I love Croak so much and I can't recommend it enough. It's hilarious, kind of, if you like Dead Like Me sort of humor, then you will probably love Gina D'Amico's series. It gets surprisingly dark, but it's also very comic, so it depends if you can handle that combination. And this is the final installment! No, it's gonna be over! I'm gonna say goodbye to all of them. And then I got one today. This light is like in my face, so I'm gonna turn it. And I will probably be a little bit less shiny. Okay. I don't know if that's better for you guys or not, but it's better for me. Anyways, I got one from St. Martin's Press today. So we'll do a live unveiling. I have no idea what it is. Because I don't think I've requested anything. So I am excited to find out. Oh, I did request something. Oh, how could I forget? Kin Slayer by Jay Kristoff. I am so happy right now. You get to see my happy face in real life. Look at this badass cover. Yes, when cover snark approves, you know it is an awesome cover. I am so excited. Like, you don't even know, guys. I cannot wait to read this, except I totally will have to wait a little bit to read it because review pile and all of that. I'm only just kind of ahead, so I can't be jumping around yet. Maybe if I get, like, a month ahead, then I could just read what I wanted, and then I would be behind again. Anyways, I also got a big old pile of stuff from Way Books Central, and these are exciting. Most of them are finished copies. 
Um, but reviews will be coming in the next month or two. And so the first one is The Flame in the Mist by Kit Grindstaff, which I've heard just really great things about. Kayla Beck of Bibliophilia Please said, specifically said she thought that was a Christina book. So I've had my eyes on it to get it. Apparently really good high fantasy. And The Language Inside by Holly Thompson. I was excited about this one because it is set in Japan, I think in Tokyo partly. And if it's set partly in Asia, I'm pretty much already ready to read it. Um, and then also The Summer I Became a Nerd by Leah Ray Miller, which I believe both Amber of Books of Amber and Jillian, Writer of Wrongs, really approved of. So I'm looking forward to this one. Hopefully I'm exactly in the mood for a fluffy read when I get to it. And How I Lost You by Janet Gertler. And this one was recommended to me by Jenny of Alluring Reads. So I'll know who to be mad at if I don't like it. Jenny, this could be on you. And Plague in the Mirror by Deborah Noyes. Uh, this one is like a historical, paranormal kind of thing, and it sounded really, really cool, and like there would be sex in it, which is fun. I mean, whatever. Out of This Place by Emma Cameron. This is another verse novel, like the Holly Thompson book, The Language Inside, is also a verse novel. I'm not always a big fan of verse, but I've heard good things about both of these authors, and I do want to branch out. And this one is Australian, and I hear constantly that Australian authors are the best authors ever. And, I mean, Jake Kristoff is pretty freaking awesome, so I'm assuming there might be truth to that. Belly Pock by Elizabeth Ross. This is another historical about a girl who's basically paid to be the duff. And I'm excited, and I'm pretty sure Shelver of Bookshelvers Anonymous loved this one. So again, excited. And Rump, the true story of Rumpelstiltskin by Weasel Shirtliff. And it's got an adorable middle grade cover and it's a fairy tale. So that's really all you needed to know for why I want that one. This one I'm actually going to be starting as soon as I finish All the Truth That's In Me. Since You Asked by Maureen Gu, and this one is about a Korean-American girl. And again, mention Asia, I'm there. Even if she's not in Asia, she's Korean. Close enough for me. And I believe that Jillian liked that one as well. So if Jillian is like this book is adorable, I know I'm probably going to think it's adorable too. So, uh, OCD Love Story by Corianne Haydu. This one comes out in like two weeks. And I've been hearing the best things about it from pretty much everybody who's read it. So really looking forward to that. And Corey seemed really cool. I met her very, very briefly at BEA. The Year of Shadows by Claire Legrand, who is definitely very, very cool. I met her less briefly at BEA. And she's awesome. And she loves unicorns. And she has a grumpy cat on her cover, and I'm so excited to finally read a Clara Grand book because I kind of love her, but I haven't read her stuff yet, and I feel bad about that. Unless I don't like it, and then I'm glad I didn't read it earlier because then I would be one of her early negative reviews, and that would be sad. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, the Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. And I love this cover. I'm glad I have this cover. And I've heard mixed things. Some people said it's too middle grade and unsophisticated. And some people think it's beautiful and really sophisticated. So I'm going to find out what's going on when I read it myself. Uh, the 100 by Cass Morgan. And this one, Hannah of Irish Banana. Love, love, loved. So I had to try it out. Also, I think it references Battlestar Galactica. So... Like, that was the comparison, which I'm up for drama and space. And then finally, Marie Antoinette, Serial Killer. And this one is coming from Scholastic. And I love this cover. It's another one that won Cover Snark. And so, yeah, that is, those are all of my review books this week. You know, it's almost enough. <laughs> and I'm kidding, by the way. And finally, I was gifted one of the books that I was lost from BEA, and that is Reality Boy by A.S. King. I absolutely love A.S. King, and thank you so much to Lily Reflex for doing a trade with me. So that Lily of Lily's Reflections, sorry, her Twitter is Lily Reflex, so I always call it that. And I'm really excited. 
So that is everything I got this week, and I am out of time. So let me know if you guys got awesome things. Bye.